Hello, welcome to the course of DVB-S2. So today we are going to discuss about the DVB-S2 frame. So here in this chapter, we will discuss about the framing structure. Then we will discuss about the PL frame, then about the B, uh, BB header that is baseband header. So let's discuss about the first that is framing structure. So here there are two level of framing structures that are used in DVB-S2. So here the first le uh, first the first at physical level that carries few highly protected signal signaling bit that is bb uh, that is pl frame at physical layer level this carries a few highly protected signaling bit to provide robust synchronization and signaling at the physical layer the second is at the baseband level which carries a variety of signaling bit to allow the maximum flexibility on the input signaling adoption also known as bb frame at baseband level so this is the uh, uh, frame uh, frame structure of the DVB-S2. So here at the transport frame, it consists of one, 188 byte. Then at the baseband frame, the BB header is added as well as the padding is added to the data field. Then the FEZ frame that is the error correction techniques are added which it make it BB frame complete with the BCH coding and LDPC coding. Then at last at the PL packet when the PL packet physical layer packet is formed at that layer the PLP header is added with this modulated symbol from FEZ frame bit. So this is the complete frame of the DVB as 2 is formed after PL packet frame. So let's discuss about the physical level framing here. The first level of framing structure is designed to provide robust synchronization and signaling at physical layer. So here the DVB-S2 physical layer train is composed of regular resequence of periodic wagons. So within a wagon the modulation and coding scheme is homogeneous but may change in adjacent wagon like uh, it may consist of variable coding and modulation technique. So here these periodic wagons are known as physical layer frame or that is PL frame. So the PL framing structure is application independent that is it may contain constant coding and modulation or variable coding and modulation. So here every PL frame is composed of two type of frame size. The first one is a payload of 64,800 bit for the normal FEZ frame is used or a payload of 16,200 bits for the short FEZ frame may be used. So here these are generated by encoding the user bit according to the selected FEZ scheme. So these are the two type of FEZ frame that can be used or uh, used in the PL framing structure. Next, a PL header contains the synchronization and signaling information such as type of modulation, FEC rate, frame length, app present and absence of pilot symbol to facilitate the synchronization. Next is BB framing. So here the baseband frame allows a more complete signaling functionality to configure the receiver according to the application scenario. So here it may contain the information like single or multiple input stream, generic code transport stream, CCM that is constant coding and modulation and the ACM adaptive coding and modulation. Then the baseband header contain many signaling bit without losing transmission efficiency against the noise. So BB header carry information signaling information such as the labeling the modulator input stream. It describes the position and characteristic of the user packet. It indicates the presence of padding bit in the transmitted baseband frame and it may contain uh, information about the signaling, the activation of specific tool or signaling the adaptive modulation role of factor. So next is symbol rate. So here in DVB-S2 the symbol rate is always a constant and here a symbol in DVB-S2 carry 2 to 5 bit. So here receiver have to track the carrier frequency and locate and maintain the symbol alignment. So after this symbol stream it contain 90 symbol block called the PL header and the PL header contain a special start of frame pattern called the SOF. So SOF in PL header provide the frame alignment and continuous back to back frames are always transmitted and if there is nothing to send a dummy frame is sent instead. Next is frame organization. So frames are organized into group of 90 symbols that are called slots and there are 180, 270, 360, 450 slot bit in, uh, bits in a slot. So here each symbol carry 2, 3, 4 or 5 bits and there are 90, 60, 45 or 36 slot in a short frame. 
so here as long frames uh, as long frames are four times as large so here the number of slots in these frames are four times larger next is the fec bit so each frame carries data and two layer of fec coding so here dvvs to use a systematic codes this means that the original data bits are always transmitted and the fec bits are additional bit so these fec bits are used to correct the data bits that may have been altered during transmission so the two fec codes are called inner and out, uh, outer outer codes so the transmitter applies the outer code first which is the bch code then it applies the inner fec code which is ldpc that is low density parity check code so this is about the dvbs2 framing structure or this is all about dvbs2 frame thank you